It was more than a courtesy call. It was a thank you visit from the Minister of Women Affairs and her entourage. The purpose of their visit is simply to thank the Deputy President of the Senate and indeed the Ninth Assembly for the passage of the Anti-Sexual Harassment Bill. The DSP, we are here on behalf of all Nigerian women to express our sincere appreciation and commend you for the efforts and your gallant, courageous performance at ensuring the passage of the sexual harassment bill aimed at punishing early lecturers in our tertiary institutions. Last week, when the bill was passed, I, got up, I almost broke my TV. I said, okay, I sent you a text and thank God you graciously responded and gave us this time. What you have done under the early leadership of my dear brother, the Senate President, the Ninth Senate of the National Assembly, under your heavenly leadership, you are already living your marks on the sands of history. According to the minister, this bill couldn't have come at a better time when Nigeria is battling with the novel COVID-19 pandemic on the one hand and the sexual abuse and harassment pandemic on the other. Since the pandemic, because we are facing a pandemic within the pandemic, before COVID-19, we had an epidemic of rape and gender-based violence all over the country. But since the COVID, uh, pandemic of COVID-19, the epidemic has turned into a worse pandemic than even the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm sure all our distinguished senators here will testify that no state is an exception. On behalf of the Senate President, Dr. Anna Brown, to the Senate, Thank you for the decision you made today to come before us and express your thanks, your gratitude uh, for this sexual harassment, harassment bill that we just passed a couple of days ago. Uh, we are gratified that you decided to take this initiative to come thank us, but frankly, it's our job. Uh, we elected to represent people. Uh, we elected because our people know that at all times we know what ails them. We know what their problems are. We know what pains them. We feel that pain. And it's our job to, as best as possible, try and ameliorate that situation. The anti-sexual harassment bill has been passed to the House of Representatives for concurrence. When it's finally passed into law, this bill will in no small way stem the tide of sexual harassment in tertiary institutions of learning.